And uh, he's got a lot of uh, gumshoe sense, so to speak. Allison Treisel, uh, what do you make of her, the mom saying she failed the polygraph, um, this trip to the store, the fact that the family has uh, now got this private eye that's going to speak for them? That's bizarre. Um, as a defense attorney, I've never had a wealthy financier come in and say, I'm going <laughs> to hire a private eye for you. Um, so, and the fact that he's speaking for the family is strange, but still, I have to say, there's nothing really conclusive. And unfortunately, it does happen that intruders come into homes. It does. And in terms of the grocery store, I just don't think the behavior is that bizarre or suspicious. Yeah, especially if the, hu the boyfriend, he's not the husband, but the father of the missing child knows this guy, they've been seen all three of them together, it's just a friend who happens to be a male, and they just happen to be buying wine. I don't think we should read anything into it, but again, we want to analyze everything because we want to be part of trying to find baby Lisa. Thanks, Ed Lavender, for bringing, you, bringing us your exclusive information that you obtained, and uh, thank you, fantastic panel. Now, at the top of the hour, we're going to have...